Cosio here on YouTube and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe in the button down below I upload at least twice a week for today's video guys I actually have a deep clean video with you guys we are gonna deep clean my kitchen guys like the cabinets are bad like when I tell you they're bad they're bad the last time I cleaned them and I'll be so honest with you guys was the day we moved in which literally like a year ago and a year and a month ago um, I did clean all the cabinets before I put everything in but I feel like everything's just everywhere nothing really has like it does have a place but it's just not it's not working out you know I feel like I have a lot of cabinets yet I'm not storing a lot of things so we're gonna work something out Make sure everything is nice and organized. One of the cabinets, which is a complete mess, and you guys will see in a minute, it's the Topperware cabinet. It's just bad. We, we really need to organize that, guys. But if you love this type of videos, guys, please don't forget to subscribe in the button down below. I would really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, guys, let's get started with today's video. So guys, I have, as you guys know, several cabinets and yeah I feel like I don't have enough space <laughs> so I kind of wanted to get all my baking situation stuff like these right here and a different cabinet for just baking because I have some down there as well and what I think I'm gonna do is well this is all clean so we won't mess with that but I have this one as well and I feel like it's just not organized and we don't even drink soda guys it's been there for a long time already and we just don't drink it um, and then we also have like some chocolates down there which we don't eat either but then I also have this one right here that we have a couple of gifts that we still have from our wedding I have some baking stuff here and here but they're not even full so I feel like I might not need much space, but for my baking stuff, I'm kind of stuck. Here, I have everything that is glassware. Every single one of them, guys. So here, I have all the tapaderas, tops from like all uh, the things I have. So, and then here, we have all the tapaderas for all of the um, little topperwares that I have. I just want you guys to see like an overview of all the drawers, how they look. They're pretty messy as you guys can see. Um, a lot of them, they're kind of just scattered everywhere, especially more towards like the stove. Like this one right here and then the ones on the other side as well. You guys will see. Everything is kind of everywhere honestly guys. So just want to let you see how they look right now that way when you guys see the aftermath you guys can kind of like relate with me because it's so satisfying and then this part right here where like the cabinet doesn't open all the way my husband fixed that which I am so glad because I'm able to fit more things in that drawer My tea drawer, guys, is honestly pretty bad, as you guys can see. Everything's everywhere. The only thing that I liked about this is that I was able to see the box of every single tea as how it looks now. But then again, I like how it looks now because it's more organized. But yeah, guys, this is literally how every single cabinet looked. I just wanted to show you guys so you guys can see the before and after. This particular drawer right here was pretty bad. The first layer because it had a bunch of seasoning like crumbs everywhere and it was pretty bad. Here I don't store anything. I was 
thinking to put some stuff there, but honestly, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna put anything in there because it doesn't, it just really wouldn't work. And then here we have all the plates. And as you guys can see, it was empty because who knows where everything else was. My husband tends to just shove everything in any door that he finds. And now that everything is nice and organized, it's gonna be easier for him to just know where it belongs and just put it there. Oh my God, guys, are you guys seeing all these crumbles? Like, it was just bad. This particular cabinet was really bad because of the toaster, but it was so satisfying cleaning it, guys. So what I did is in a little bucket, I put water, hot water, down a dish soap, and then I also put some Clorox, and that's what I use, guys, to clean every single cabinet. Honestly, I really love the mixture of those two with hot water because I feel like they clean really, really good and really fast. Um, especially because the down, as you guys, I don't know if you guys use it, but if you do use it, Honestly, it's really good. It, it, it breaks down the grease really fast. So if you haven't used it, I really, really do recommend it, guys, because it's really, really good. I don't know where the clip went where I do all the mixture, um, but I'll link the products down below, every single product that I use. That way, I, that way, if you guys are interested in purchasing them, they're linked down below. In this cabinet, guys, I went ahead and put the big, big pots. Um, the ones that I don't use often, to be honest. Um, if you guys see the top row on the top, that row, I really don't use them. The one that uses them is my mom, mostly when they come and we, you know, make more food. She's the one that um, uses those. I use the ones on the bottom, which are smaller. But I love how they look, guys. They look so organized compared to how they looked. Here we have just, honestly, I didn't even remember what we had all the way in the back. We had even chocolate that just went bad. Juice that went bad because I didn't even know it was in there until today that we finally decided to clean. But I had to throw all that out, clean it in, and then that's where I'm putting all my baking items and then this one right here has a bunch of presents from my wedding because i still have a lot of them a couple of them honestly to be honest um and i have ended up moving them to the laundry room because the laundry room is pretty big as you guys seen in my previous videos and i feel like we can use this area for something else i hope this video, guys, is inspiring you to clean, deep clean your kitchen, guys, because honestly, like, it definitely inspired me to keep cleaning, deep cleaning my entire house. And I'm actually going to be doing a Siri summer deep clean with me. This is going to be the first video. And then I just recorded the second video. And then this weekend coming up i'll be recording the third video so definitely definitely stay tuned for that guys what i ended up deciding to put in this drawer was this here because honestly i never know where to put it and it just uh it frustrates me but it fit perfectly under the stove which i am so glad because i didn't want to put it somewhere where I, it was hard for me to get because I use it mostly on the weekends to make pancakes um, so I was like you know what this is a perfect spot for it so this cabinet guys made a huge transformation like a huge transformation 
everything was falling out i was just so frustrated i had to get rid of a lot of things i just threw away that you know i was just not using topperware that was just old and i mean that's the whole plan of deep cleaning getting rid of things that you don't need and they're just accumulating space just taking over your space honestly nothing but waves in this villain in i want to dry i call this the glass cabinet this one's the one that honestly at the end it didn't look that organized but it's just because i just wanted to fit everything there so it just kind of looked at the end not organized but trust me everything got nice and cleaned moving on to the top cabinet i ended up putting the glass cups up here also organized the coffee mugs in this drawer as well everything that like for our micheladas all that good stuff for wine everything i ended up putting it there this cabinet ended up being like a random cabinet because i just put things that i really didn't know where to particularly put them and things that were gonna be gone in a couple of days i ended up putting them there this one made such a transformation guys because honestly it was so bad it was really dirty but i love those little organizers from the dollar store because honestly they made a big huge difference give this video guys a thumbs up if you are enjoying it if you made it this far from the video please give it a thumbs up let me know I know it's a really long video, but honestly, I feel like it's very motivating. I love watching this type of videos because it just gives me ideas of how to organize my house, how to organize my rooms, in this case, my kitchen. Also, comment down below, guys, what are the places that you guys normally tackle that get very dirty? For example, the laundry room. I know for sure one of them are the fans that also get really bad. But definitely comment down below. Let me know what is it that you guys clean often that you know that gets really dirty. That way I know if I clean that part or not or that particular item that you guys clean. So yeah, just comment down below. Let me know. I really want to know what is it that you guys tackle the most. These dividers here guys are from Ikea. I love them. They're pretty big and honestly they work for everything. I did use a couple different ones and you guys will see them on these drawers. My drawers honestly weren't that bad because I know that I had cleaned them before um, once. Um, so they're not that bad guys. I ended up using one of the little dividers for my tees because as you guys see, <laughs> the tea drawer was pretty bad the only thing that i didn't like it was the fact that i couldn't see the boxes anymore but the teas that i normally drink all the time i save the box that way i remember because i forget everything it's so fast guys and then here we're moving on to the baking drawers and the little rag drawer that's where i'm gonna put all the rags because i don't know where else to put them so i'm just gonna put them there um, but yeah guys, as like I told you guys before, that little uh, blue rag, I'm wetting it in a little bin that has the down soap and Clorox with hot water guys. And that's what I'm using after I vacuum and get everything, the little crumbs out, I use that rag to clean it. I honestly feel like this is one thing that you can do once a year. Um, because I honestly my drawers weren't that bad and I remember I had only cleaned them once before and not all of them the ones that I did clean before was where I have like the forks and the knives and all of that because that one does tend to get pretty crump pretty bad as you guys saw that's the one that had like the little brown powder um, but other than that they really didn't have much they just had a little in their crumbs but honestly they weren't that bad so i feel like that's 
one thing that you can probably do once or twice a year same thing with the cabinets the one that was that had most crumbs was the one where the toaster went and the one that had the topperware other than that everything else they were pretty good oh and the one under the sink that one was pretty dirty as well and I'm pretty sure it's because we have all the cleaning supplies there and like the soap And we are finally done cleaning all the cabinets guys we are moving on to cleaning the rest of the kitchen I'll also link that product down below that I sprayed on the back it honestly makes things more easier when it comes to grease and I believe you can find it at the dollar store which I'll link down below guys I'm using the same little method down soap with with Clorox and you guys just saw me spray the little Clorox that's the Clorox I use because it has a different scent and I actually like it because the other regular one I don't like the super strong Clorox smell and I'm just grabbing the little spongy and just cleaning the whole bar and then I'm also just letting it soak and I'm doing the same thing with the fridge because the outside of the fridge had a lot of prints and it was just really really bad already it needed a really good deep clean and that's what I'm doing right here guys cleaning it from the outside because I'm gonna do a whole different video from the inside because I'm trying to get it organized like with those clear containers so I'm trying to look for some at Ross or Marshall's I want something cheap I don't like to spend a lot of money on particular items guys on top of the fridge it had a lot of grease as you guys saw me, I did spray that little spraying. I'll link it down below, guys. It's called Awesome, I believe. But if you let it just chill there for a little bit and then you go back and scrub, it makes the grease come out super fast. You don't even have to struggle. And I just love it. I used to not know how to use it. I would just spray it and like clean right after and it wouldn't clean it. So I was like, what the heck? It doesn't work. Then one day I was cleaning something else I, I, I was just letting the stove soak and when I came back it cleaned so fast and I was like oh that's the trick so you have to let it soak I will also link down below what I use to clean the stainless steel items I don't use it often if you guys want to try it out you guys can I'll link it down below but my method when it comes to that um, the blue rags I let them almost dry up but they're still a little damped and that's when I wipe everything down and I love it because when you touch the fridge or the stove it doesn't leave the prints when you use this product and then you touch the fridge it leaves the prints and I hate it but for the sake of the video I wanted to use it that way you guys <laughs> weren't looking at those lines um, that I had because the rag that I did clean it was really wet so that's what happens when it's too wet so this is the after guys have the fruit here I bought this I don't know let me tell tell me what you guys think about it down below in the comments because I think it's really cute and it kind of goes with like the wood up there but so we're gonna start off here so this cabinet had all the glassware a bunch of stuff honestly ended up keeping it like this it's just a little bit of random things we have my teas here these that I don't really know where to put in eventually I want this just to be for baking that's what I want guys um, but as of right now I only have this little spot for baking we have this it's kind of empty if you think about it um, it doesn't really have a lot um, I'm gonna do some DIYs with those things over in that corner and then this is just a bunch of liquor that we haven't really drank and 
soda that we don't really drink but is there whenever somebody wants soda for this one we went ahead and did it for baking so I went ahead and put a lot of my baking stuff which I don't really have a lot I just have this here eventually when I do get more stuff then we'll move it over to the side and then whatever's there we'll move it here but you guys can see a big huge difference this right here it looks pretty crazy but this is the best I could have done for this one here here things went really well this one was bad guys everything was falling apart like every time I opened this freaking doors everything would fall out but look at it it's nice like it makes you think like you don't have any space because everything's like just falling out but honestly it's just because you don't have it organized <laughs> And then I added these here from Ikea and I put all of the lids for everything I have which if you guys can see I have a bunch of lids and I don't really have a lot of stuff. Here we have this one which honestly it turned out pretty well. I, I really loved it. So we have the lids here and then we have the little ones in the back and then we have space in the back of these two. I don't have anything eventually I'll probably put something that I don't really use often back there and then moving on to this one right here I feel like this one came out pretty well as well this one was bad there was a bunch of crumbles guys as you saw everywhere because the toaster just on the bottom every time we used it we would shove it in there and then it would just drop all the crumbles from all the freaking bread. This looks pretty well. And then here I have all my bigger like ollas if you want to call them from Prince's House. Not because I would purchase them because I feel like they're really expensive. Um, but most of them are gifts from my mom. <laughs> um, I, I think I only purchased two and it's that one up there and that little one right there. This one over here also came out pretty well in my opinion I ended up putting all the dirty rags right here I got the little thing from the dollar store if you guys can see it so bring to bring these two items a little bit more up and then I have this this spongy the scrub daddy which I really want to use because everybody be hyping them up and I want to know do good. You guys know what well, these up there were over there. We brought them over here. And then we brought these from over there as well. And then this we did have here. Everything we had up here, we moved it down to that cabinet. Thankfully it fit. And then here are the mugs. Here we have cups that we don't really use up there. Here we have some shakes, some protein shakes. Yeah, um, and then we have the salt, and then we have these that I always use every time I cook. I like spicy stuff, guys, so that's what I use. And then here we have the dollar store little thingy majigger, and then we have our spices here, and then we have a couple more things up there, and then we have a lazy Susan here, guys. I feel like it was so convenient, in my opinion. And here we have all the plates, guys. I went ahead and put all my wood um, palitas. My mom likes to cook with these. I honestly like to cook with these as well. And then she gave me these, which are really cute. This I bought in Mexico, and it's for chocolate. To make some bomb-ass hot chocolate, guys. So I haven't used it, so I should probably use it before summer comes. Um... And then here, I shoved everything that was here into here because honestly, everything fits in here. This random stuff for the cheese and then these which are for the licuadoras to here. I added these. Now these are from Ikea, guys. This worked really well. I feel like oh, they get the whole damn space. They only have like this little tiny gap right here. These are the little things for to blend. Moving on to this one guys, we have all of our silverware and then we had the lids on this side. I moved them over to this side because why not? Nothing fancy. 
And then here we have all of our teas, which I love. Your girl loves teas, guys. Teas is like my way to go, honestly. Okay, and then have gum right here because my mom, my mom usually does take teas um, when she comes. So that way she can kind of see it and she's like, oh, the gum's right here, you know? And then on this side, I'm going to put all the clean rags. Um, so we're, they're going to go here because I feel like it make, makes sense, you know. I'm going to have these two drawers. They're going to be my baking stuff. Eventually, what I want to do is I want all this here to be just baking stuff. Like I want to fill it up a, a bunch of junk of baking. <laughs> Why? I don't know, guys. But, but here I just have like... The measuring things, that little scalp thingamajigger. And then on this side, I put another one of these, which are from Ikea. Here I have my recipe book. A gel coloring um, to change the color on the frosting or, you know, whatever you want. And then, yeah, and then I just have a couple candles and then more candles and, yeah. And these are from Ross which they worked perfectly honestly I usually buy my baking stuff when they're on sale dollar store and I have a bunch of more of like baking stuff but yeah just a bunch of baking stuff and then like numbers down there that was it for today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it's a little long but it's so satisfying because you saw all those crumbles like I did I really did I feel like now the kitchen is nice and clean and I'm, I'm, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm loving it because we ended up having extra space, which we all love extra space, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and the button down below. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. I really, really appreciate it, guys. And then also, don't forget to follow me on my social media down below on Instagram. So definitely check them out down below guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up guys. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching girlies. I love you guys and I'll see you until next time. Bye.